Hi, I am Ramesh. I am going to explain you how to import citations in EndNote library, managing them, finally how to insert them in Microsoft Word. You can also find lots of video courses in EndNote website. However, I can't find few important configurations which I am going to explain you here. This training lesson has 8 steps. Let us start from creating new library. Open EndNote. Go to File. Click on New. Give the file name which you want to have. If you have recent version of EndNote, then you will have the option of Save as Package. Check the box which will create a single EndNote file in your destination directory. If don't, then it creates two files. Okay, we have created new library. Let's go to step 2, download citation. You can download citation from any article from the internet. Let's go to ACS journal, organic letters, go to current issue. Let's get the citation for this first article. Click on download citation. Again click on this download button. That's it. We have downloaded the citation. There is another easy way to get citation, which is to use Zotra. Zotra is a Firefox plugin, which is available only for Firefox. Sorry for the IE users. After you install this plugin in Firefox, go to any journal web page. Let us go to Angwanda Kemi. Click on current issue. Click on article abstract. Once you are viewing a single article, then you can see a text icon symbol appears in the address bar. Click on the small icon, which saves the citation into the Zodra library. Now we have to export the downloaded citation from Zodra library. Click on this icon. It opens the library. Right click on the citation which you want to export to the EndNote library. Choose export selected item. Make sure that your output file format is RIS. And click on OK. Save the file wherever you want to. That's all. We are done with the downloading citations. Let us go to step 3. Import citations. Open the EndNote library. Go to File. Click on Import. If you want to import a citation which is in EndNote format, for example, we have downloaded the EndNote export format from Organic Letters. Then we have to choose EndNote import from this drop down menu. Suppose if you want to import the citation from Zotra which is in RIS format. For example, the last one which we have exported from Zotra is RIS format. Then you have to choose RIS import from the drop down menu. Ok, let's import the citations. We can also add reference manually by clicking on the new reference icon and fill the small form. At first you have to choose what type of citation you are going to add from this drop down menu. Let's say I want to add a journal article. Type the author name. Let's say Ramesh Rasapan 2006 Asymmetric Synthesis Organic Letters Volume and finally pages Save this reference from the file menu That's all we have successfully imported citations Let's go to step 4 Define term lists 
Let us go back to the EndNote library which we have created. Choose any one of the article from this list and click on preview. Oh no, I don't like to have this title. I want to have the short form of author names and abbreviated journal names. Let us first define the term lists. What it is? Term, the term lists are nothing but journal abbreviations. As we know that the journal names must be abbreviated while we cite them in our publication. For example, the journal organic letters must be abbreviated as orglet. You can download this term list from the following website. Go to this page, right click on the display, choose save linkers and save them in your local directory. After you download them, go back to the EndNote library, go to Tools, click on Define Term List, choose Journals from this small list, click on Import List. Now you have to choose the term list file which you have downloaded from the internet and click on Choose. That's all. Your abbreviation lists are ready and you can see them by clicking on terms. Scroll down to see them. This abbreviation list which I have imported here has two sets of abbreviation. For example, the journal Accounts of Chemical Research has abbreviation 1 as well as 2. I hope most of you need the abbreviation 1. It is also possible to edit them which I do often. Choose the journal name, click on edit, make your changes and click OK and close the window. Let's go to lesson 5, output style. After you define the term list, you have to choose the output style. Go to edit, click on output style. At present, the output style is empty, we have to choose them first. Click on Open Style Manager, it takes few minutes to open the manager. Ok, it's ready now. Here you can find most of the journals. If you like to write reference in ACS format, then check the box which corresponds to ACS. Also, the ACS no title. You can browse through this window and choose whatever the journal you like to have them in your list. You can also search them very easily. Let's say you want to have Angu and Akemi. Just type Angu in the search box and hit enter. Here it is. Check the box and close the window. Now we can see the list appears in this small window. We can also choose the output style from the library window. Click on this drop down menu and choose whatever the output style you want to have. Let us move to lesson 6, edit output style. 